All right, welcome to Cape hey. Cast. We have got a extremely, extremely special episode uh, here today. Uh, we've got the legendary now Ray Porter, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Darkside himself. <laughs> I like those welcome, opening welcome. graphics. It's really cool. I wish I'd, I'd, I've got my uh, Corgi Batmobile in the other room. I would have brought it in. And <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very supplemental. Cool. I love it. Really bitching. That's so awesome. how are you guys doing? Ray, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting week. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, I can I cannot even fathom yeah, really how interesting your week has been. Well, <laughs> I'm sure things really have cool been things turned on got. their heads a bit. <laughs> well, it, it's yeah, it's been interesting. There's personally, there's been several things that have occurred that I will never, ever forget. Mm -hmm. um, it's also just been, you know, the culmination. Of, I mean, I came into the whole like fandom world pretty mm -hmm. late to the game. And obviously I couldn't say anything about it for a while. Right, um, right. So I've been watching from afar and seeing all the efforts of everybody and, and how much, you know, they believed and fought and cared. And mm -hmm. so to see it, you know, cross the finish line and to see everybody celebrating and enjoying it is so great. It's just yeah. wonderful. I mean, That's people awesome. are happy, yep. you know, yeah. and, and uh, people are happy about what they got people. That's the other thing. Not only that it's out. So yeah, people seem very pleased with the result, and that's great. I, I am shocked at the um, just just you know historically, people tend for whatever reason tend to have critically tend to have their knives out for Zach and within different areas. Yeah. But it's been amazing to see all of the positivity and so well, refreshing. There's, there's, and there's still a few blades that are sticking. <clears throat> I've seen a few, but sure. I've seen a lot of people. Uh, the best you can hope for in a situation like that. And I've seen so many people do it is, is to say, you know, um, in this case, no, this is good. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's, yep. it's all, it's all you can hope for is a, a logical, mm -hmm. mature mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's been very satisfying. I mean, I always had a bit of a problem with, um, people who've had their knives out because I know zach and like him very much just as a person mm -hmm. and so I, I tend to get a little schoolyard when people go after people that i like you know so yeah. it's been great I, to see a lot have of you had a chance to chat with him since very uh, the release? i mean he's obviously a little busy <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that news think? stops <laughs> He's got, uh, I mean, I need a lie down after putting shoes on. How does this dude like, <laughs> but he, um, he's got this, he's got army of the dead. He's got mm. all of these other things going on. And, you know, so there hasn't been a lot of time and I wouldn't expect there to be, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I sent him a very brief text thanking him for nice. having me along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the most he and I have really talked was, uh, we were on the vodka stream. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, what, we watched that one. He yep. showed up and surprised oh, yeah. the hell out of me. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you know, he's been very busy. <laughs> yeah. So no doubt. Um, right. Yeah. But it's so, great. So what was your? What was you were telling us about it a little earlier? But mm. uh, for folks listening, what was what was Ray Porter's first viewing experience like? Oh for man, Zack Snyder's Justice League. <laughs> okay. So Ray Fisher saw it. And he posted something about it. And so I texted him. I was like, "Dude, are you happy? Are you? You know." Uh, again, I consider Ray a friend and I wanted him to be pleased and feel like his story got told. You yeah. Know, and he was like, Oh, you know, you, you have no idea. I'm so happy. You look great. I was like, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. But, <laughs> you know, um, he said, so how are you going to watch it? I, I was like, well, I'm not going to, I won't watch it. On, I've got a big iPad cause I narrate audiobooks and my sure. eyes are shit. So I yeah. have a large, large iPad. I was like, mm -hmm. well, I probably won't watch it on the iPad. He's like, no, 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 no. And I was like, well, uh, there was this old TV that my son uh, plays Xbox on in his apartment. He was like, man, you want to see this on as good a thing as you can. So <laughs> yeah. And I bought a friggin', you know, 4K TV, uh, 50 inch to, to watch it on. And this is right another on. thing I'm, I'm curious. How many TVs were sold? In the run up. Oh, I know. HBO oh. Next release. I know a lot of I've people seen... that were investing in exactly. projectors and new sound yep. systems just I've because seen a of this ton movie. Of people talking about like, oh, got this new TV for the mm -hmm. you know. Um. Anyway, so I watched it on my my fabulous new TV, uh, and it was yeah. it was 
beautiful. You know, mm-hmm. it, it blew me away. I sat down with snacks, you know, and did all that stuff. Took a break in between chapter four and five, mm-hmm. you know, at the chapter break. Yep. But mm-hmm. otherwise sat all the way through it. And yep. then the next day I had been invited by Zach to go with, uh, some other, saw Jay Oliva there. Um, mm-hmm. oh, nice. Nice. At the, uh, IMAX world headquarters for the screening. And mm-hmm. I'll tell you this about the IMAX world headquarters, <laughs> the most comfortable movie seats I've ever sat in anywhere ever. Interesting. Oh, nice. Oh, I hope so. I wanted to take one with me. I wish I'd brought a wrench. Um, yeah, that was great, but I, where is it I, located? Where's, where's the headquarters? It's in Playa Vista here in LA. Okay. So it's kind of so- Southern LA. Um, so was it like, I'm assuming it's like the full, like, you know, 70 millimeter IMAX or was it like a digital type setup? I'm not, I'm not real sure. Uh, yeah. forgive me. I, I'm not real sure. On no, that. that's cool. Uh, I know that it was amazing, beautiful, huge screen. The sound was, you know, yeah. um, I'm sure. And it was funny because I wasn't sure if I was going to a regular IMAX movie theater or what. And when I got to IMAX world headquarters, I was like, there's no popcorn. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just cause I'm, I'm, I'm lame. Um, <laughs> it was beautiful. But the thing that I pointed out to you before we started broadcasting, the, the, the thing I was really struck with, I mean, yes, mm-hmm. the sound was brilliant and obviously, you know, it's like, Somebody That's said, spectacle. Yeah. you're going to want to sit in kind of the back <clears throat> to really see it. Yeah. And I thought that's probably a good idea. It's better to see a movie than wear it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was amazing. It was beautiful. But the experience I had at home was just as satisfying, just as good. Sure, sure. And I didn't buy, you know, a billion dollar TV. I didn't buy a mask. I got a 50 inch Vizio from Best Buy. Right. Great TV. Sure. Uh, but, you know, there's people with lot better gear and i was yeah. fully satisfied in both ways so if you're seeing it on a smaller screen you're not missing out at all and and i imagine there's because there's so many like we were kind of saying easter eggs in this movie i imagine seeing it on an imax you probably miss a lot of that stuff just because it's so you know there's I, a lot that goes huge. by fairly quickly there right, were some yeah. things that there were some like easter eggy <laughs> things that i was able to see more clearly you know projected mm-hmm. Yeah, the size okay. of a house in front of me. Yeah. But um, <laughs> sure. But for the most part, no. I mean, it's really you get as good an experience streaming through HBO Max at home mm-hmm. um, as I did at IMAX. Seriously, that's awesome. I mean, the nice. sound was real different. Yeah, um, uh, I'm sure. I believe I, that. Yeah, IMAX. <laughs> if you're watching, I'd love a sound system, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got one. three. <laughs> I need another apartment for the sound system. I think. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I built my house around this home theater. Like that's like it was. <laughs> yeah, it was the reason really, why we built a house in the first place was to so I could build a dedicated home theater room. So it's really, the real deal. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. It's like um, I said, he's humble about it, but you know, no, what? It, well, what I was kind of saying earlier. It's what sorry, you what love, you say, so Go for it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean it's true. And like I was saying earlier, I mean, your voice was like, just like hit you in the chest in that movie. Sweet. Like it was like it rattling. Was so, like, That's awesome. Yeah. Finally, finally did some justice to my, to my LFE, my subwoofer there. So I appreciate <laughs> you. Glad, glad to give him a workout. Yeah. There you go. Did you have, did um, you have any, um, favorite moments that stood out to you in this film? Obviously tenor, hard to pick for us. 10 or 50. Sure I mean, yeah, yeah. There's, there's so many, there's so many. What's yeah. cool about talking about this with you, Ray, is that you're a fan of this stuff. So you're not like yeah. a typical actor that just like does the work and moves on. Like I've watched you on other streams and you love this stuff. And that's so that's well, that's really I, awesome you know, to be able to have I that. Always, I always kind of have and and being mm-hmm. welcomed into this fandom and into this community in the way that I have been has obviously made me more of a fan. I also had to mm-hmm. educate myself because I wasn't terribly familiar with, you know, comic book things. I've always respected sure. them. But yeah. it, was, it was just never really for me, you know. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, but I've had people asking me questions, and I figure I, sh- I should at least do a little bit of homework so that I'm able to give at least a facsimile of an answer or say, right. Right. I'm the last person to ask, talk to this guy. <laughs> right. Um, right. But everybody has been so kind and so welcoming uh, that, and, and I'm, I've never been somebody who's like, oh, I'm above his hole, you know. Mm-hmm. I, it's yeah. just like, you know, you know well, you, 
this this experience really has hammered home to me a belief that I've held for a really long time anyway, mm -hmm. but this has really brought it home. Um, just let people like what they like. Yep. You know what yep. I mean? Agreed. It may be it may be the last choice you would ever make. It may be a choice that you find, uh, you know, what just allow people to like what they like. Yep. You know, everybody we, gets along better that way. We had yeah. um Eric Davis on here recently from Fandango, and we kind of talked about that where like he when he reviews movies, like he tends if it's a movie he doesn't gravitate towards, he tends not to badmouth it. Like right. there's just, you know, like for every person that dislikes a movie, there's probably 20 that love it. Like there's no reason to, exactly. you know, I mean, I mean, there's, you know, it's art. Like, that's what it is. Yeah. I don't, I don't care for licorice. They're right. still making it. <laughs> right. Does, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. sure. um, but the, the idea of like attempting to make someone feel bad for liking the things mm -hmm. they like, um, to me is like the ultimate Karen move, you know, it's like, yeah. just leave them alone. <laughs> that's a great way to put it. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, and I saw people, you know, like I said, I came late to the bill, but I did see some, <clears throat> some people who were really strong with like release the Snyder cut and within this fandom and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, getting hammered online by people in really cruel right. ways. And it's like, and it's like, why? Yeah. Why? You know, I right. never understood it. Anyway, that's a whole sociological thing. No, I, yeah. I you know, it, it, I mean, that, it, unfortunately, it's kind of been at the forefront of a lot of this movement thing. You know, the people Very who dislike so. the the films tend to, that's like the low hanging fruit punching bag is the toxic, the very few toxic fans that, you know. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that there hasn't been toxicity, you know, within the sure. fandom. I just, the mute sure. button is a beautiful thing on Twitter. Agreed. It's true. I'll say that. Agreed. Yep. Um, it's I've just not a place to get in, get into it with people. You know, I just don't see, I don't see the purpose in any of it. I mean, we are right. divided <clears throat> enough in this way. Amen. We just chill Amen. the fuck out and like what we like. Now, got to take a parallax view with that a little bit. There mm -hmm. are some people who feel, I'm sure, very happy going, you're stupid if you like this movie. Well, that's yeah. them liking what they like. That's their hobby. Yeah. It sucks to be around them. But right. if being a troll is their thing, have a nice time. Just yeah, away from me, please. Yep. Um, so yeah, you know, there and you get any group of people together, and there's going to be factions will spring up. There'll be fights. Mm -hmm. There'll be hurt feelings. There'll be all of that. I haven't wanted to hear any of that. I don't want to be sure. a part of it. I don't want to know about it. Agree. I'm, I'm not that invested. Yeah, I am grateful as an actor that my work is being seen and that people are pleased with it. I feel yep. a sense of duty to the audience who has invested so much, uh, in, in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I want to give back in an appropriate way with, uh, healthy boundaries. Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm more chatty on Twitter than a lot of the other people in the cast, but that's just, I think that's more my nature than anything else. I'll yeah, talk to there's, anybody, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a, um, there's a passion that you can feel a passion behind the stuff you're talking about though. That's what's so cool. I think is, I guess with some, with some actors, it, it feels like they're, they're in their roles. And then at the end of the day, like that's their job. They hang it up. Like you, I've certainly done roles like that <clears throat> where, sure. where, you know, it's the end of the day I'm done. Thank you. I am off the clock. You know, yep. I don't want to be a part of that. This, mm -hmm. this particular character that I am, mm -hmm. that I am allowed to play in this movie, yeah. uh, this is bigger than me, way <laughs> bigger. Than me. Um, yeah. you know, I don't know if you guys saw, uh, you know, when, when Jeremy Kirby tweeted what he tweeted mm -hmm. this last week, I mean, I screenshotted that, that, that shit's getting engraved in bronze and stuck on my wall. I mean, that's to have the, as it should the Kirby family yep. on this. Yep. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I can't imagine the chills you get when you see oh, stuff like that. No, it's vast. It's huge, dude. I mean, right. I can't just seeing like all the merch that's come out. You know, just oh, yeah. I, mean, really I know cool. the, the toys. All of stuff. so. 
How yeah. many how many of those Weta figurines are you going to buy or statues are you going to buy? <laughs> as many as I can. Many as I can. <laughs> Weta figurines are ridiculous, amazing. Yep. Oh, I know. Yes, they I, are. And I've tried, like a, I've tried to get some of the McFarlands, but they're they're gone, man. They're sold mm-hmm. out. Yeah. Like to the point that I'm actually, I don't like to do this, but I'm actually mm-hmm. thinking about dropping the D bomb, you know, and like writing them <laughs> going, Right. I played Dark Side in the movie. Can I please <laughs> order one? No shame in that. Find them anywhere. And I, you know, yeah. Uh, I was talking with a very old friend of mine. He's not very old. We've been friends for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, but he was reminding me back, you know, years ago when we were working at a theater together uh, mm-hmm. doing Shakespeare. Um, you know, the conversations we used to had where I, where I would say, you know, honestly, I mean, I love doing Shakespeare. I love playing this stuff. This is great. It's one of my favorite things to do, but if I had a goal, it would be mm-hmm. to be able to go to cons and to have an action figure. So awesome. this last few months oh. has been a lot of dreams. Check. Realize. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Off the bucket list. Thank you. Yeah, um, no doubt. Yeah, you hit a gold mine with that role because this role yeah. uh, is that is the oh, Comic Con really, role. I'm just, I'm just looking at the framing. Am I? No, okay. you're good. You're good. Right, That's what. <laughs> um, I try to so, not look at myself on these broadcasts because it's always like, oh god. Yeah, I like I like block my my face with the camera, yeah. like as I'm yeah, <laughs> so I can see everybody else but not me. Yeah. Um, so talk to us a little bit about the first thing you know, we, we talked about setting this interview up, but Mm -hmm. the first thing after I watched the movie, I was like, I need to ask this guy about what the process was like. Sure. Or, you know, the recording, every, everything you did, did you do any motion capture? Sure. did. Yeah. Okay. Now I I did. I don't Uh know what made the final cut, you know, because he's got Richard Citrone who does such great physical work. Oh yeah with fights and with all this other stuff and has worked with Zach for a really long time. And I'm happy sure. to defer to the master on that. Right. But, so uh, is this, a yeah, this, this uh, <laughs> that was, yeah, I'll tell you about that. That was boy. That is the worst selfie I've ever taken in my life. Those two guys look great. I think Peter and Kieran look fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on with my face, but anyway, you just look so happy in no, that picture. I am <laughs> happy happy in that picture. Did you, <laughs> so did you have to shave for that, for the I mocap sure process? Okay. Yeah, I was wondering, sure did they have dots on your face? Yeah. They didn't put dots on my face. Weirdly enough. Okay. Um, okay. So, we're going months before that, po- that photo. Um, mm-hmm. there was a mocap session Yeah, where, um, uh, it was just Kieran and I, then at that time, Peter hadn't, I hadn't met Peter yet. This was pretty early on, but we were, you know, in the black Lycra suits with the little reflective balls and it was to capture our, um, our movements. There okay. was the, mm-hmm. the, the headgear with the light and the two cameras that's like right there in your face, but right. Um, you know, on a kind of a black set with boxes okay. and I had a, I think I had a stick. Uh-huh. So when, you know, Uxus first does that, I got to do the jump. I got to do the like, nice. Land that's awesome thing. Which I was, so happy <laughs> awesome. About. And I was like, they're never going to use it, but at least I did it kind of thing. Yeah. It'd be like if I was ever on a Star Trek thing, I would have to put my foot at least on the transporter. Just <laughs> right, to, right, right. Just so to say that. you did it. Yeah. Just to say I did it. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you guys hear that. There's some sort of like construction work or music going on. If oh, no, no, you're good. That's what it is. It's yeah, all plain here. Anything. That's what. Um, but I did the, uh, I, I did, uh, you know, my hand uh, grabbing up earth. And then, you know, looking at it and then taking the stick, which was a broomstick, basically taking the That's stick. So cool. ah, as it says. Um, awesome. I did do those things. I did a few like fighty maneuvers, but I think most of the movement was probably Citrone. Sure. Um, then uh, a while later, and I don't remember now because it's been a few years. I don't remember how long uh, between those. The next thing was a recording session that was in London. Okay. Hatched into Warner Brothers in Burbank. So I was in London mm-hmm. um, and recorded uh, some like ADR and some okay. lines and some things like that. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of the like noises during that battle with Uxus, yeah. when his ass handed to him, is yeah. you know, a lot of that. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. 
stand by a mic and go (laughs) i love there's a video out there of hugh jackman doing the that kind of stuff for wolverine that's it's It's, so yeah it's just crazy i mean you could blow your voice out doing it too um i'm sure that's one thing i wanted to ask you about yeah uh, (laughs) well yeah we'll talk about that for sure the um okay and then the next thing was when peter and kieran and i were all together in la and we were doing the scenes um, awesome. with the little cameras on our faces and they were controlling, you know, but it was to get our faces. So for CGI, the mouth movements, the eyes, the expressions, yeah. all of that stuff would, would, would work. Mm-hmm. So we did our scenes that way, which is weird. Cause it's like, Hey, here's this clingy, really attractive onesie. Put this <laughs> thing in your head with a light shining in your eyes and then act the scene. Yeah. And, uh, we did, but it was interesting. Uh, so that was a very silly, very fun day. Um, yeah, but they never did do the little dots. I think they were using mm-hmm. either different technology or technology has moved past that. Yeah, I wonder if it could That's be like an infrared thing where they can track your. Yeah, yeah. I know they sure. did something like that with the Irishman, but um, right, yeah, it's cool. So, so how was it? How was it working with Kieran Hines and Peter Guinness? We're gonna amazing. I mean, I, really? you know, I, I yeah, I mean, Kieran's work I've admired for years. Peter, I've seen in several things and really admired him. Uh-huh. They're both really great guys, you know, yeah. um, which is so nice, especially when you're spending the whole day, you know, no doubt. Yeah. Um, I mm-hmm. had a lovely time with them. They were, they were such fun and it was really only a very short amount of time that we were all mm-hmm. working together. But so uh, how, how does that scene, pl- as far as like the scene that the three of you are in together? Yeah. Um, what was that a physically present? All three of you were there doing that. We were all there. We were all there. Zach rolled a ball, which I caught under my foot. (laughs) That's awesome. And then Peter and I I played our. This is Steppenwolf's head. Just yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) That's awesome. Basically, that's amazing. And I remember as he's winding back to like roll it, you know, and they're like action. He's winding back to roll it, and I'm thinking, don't f- this up, don't f- this yep. up. <laughs> I so it's like, oh, please, just stop it. Um, right. Yeah. So yeah, That's we did awesome. we did all that stuff. That was great. Great. Fun. How 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 did you how do you find a voice like that? Like what, what goes into like the thought process? And I don't know, you know, uh, that that's a, that's a funny one. It really was never that drawn out a process. I mm-hmm. mean, Zach basically I knew more or less what dark side looked like. Mm-hmm. And I, I kind of knew what was going on based on the lines that I saw on the page, but it wasn't even an audition per se. It literally was just Zach, you know, we have known each other for a while. Him going, can you do this voice? I was like, sure. Let me, yeah. Okay, probably. Okay, he's not going to sound like Claw from Inspector Gadget. Um, <laughs> you'd be very guttural and very, you know, that sort of. Oh, thing. gosh. So would, uh, you know, that, you know, what's that funny that. is I, I, so I, I did watch the, um, the vodka stream episode where you did you you did a couple lines on his show yes and i so i had seen the trailer a couple days around hollywood doing lines it's yeah. like the 70s <laughs> right <laughs> anyway <laughs> um no you're good we uh so i had seen the trailer the first trailer with your voice a couple days before yeah. that and when i heard the trailer or when i saw the trailer i was like they like they had to have like crazy modded up his voice put all kinds of stuff and then i listened to the vodka stream and i was just like it shocked me even more when i listened to the vodka stream and what came out of your mouth because i was like it sounds exactly like his voice does that was the big <laughs> surprise to me when the preview came out because i expected they'd modify the head out of it yeah but yeah of course, but of course you don't want to do that because these are mm-hmm. real people well people right. <laughs> yeah. but um so you know i mean it should sound like kieran it should sound mm-hmm. like peter it should sound right. like me yeah you know with some stuff on it but right it, right you know, so it really i mean they 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 did stuff to it to make your bass speakers brandon very happy um yeah. and a, <laughs> a little bit of modulation here and there but it yeah. it's us you know i was yeah. kind of proud of that no uh, it's awesome man yeah, yeah. It, it, I think me and Brandon, we had a conversation right after we we both watched that episode, and we were like, "How does a human create 
a noise like that. Yeah. I, I was like, does he does he gargle like gravel and cigarettes? Years, in the yes, exactly. <laughs> Years of abuse. Exactly right. No, so, you know, that's, that's another thing is you 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 want to learn how to have vocal fluidity and gymnastics and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You can also seriously injure yourself. Um, yeah. And I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've seen a lot of people bless them post on Twitter, you know, Hey Ray, what do you think of this? I have, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, you will hurt yourself. Don't <laughs> yeah. do that. I'm serious. Not like I yeah. have some arcane knowledge, but right. This is what I do. You know, a boat mechanic yeah. going to know his way around a boat engine. I know mm -hmm. my way around stupid vocal tricks. Yeah. Right. You mm -hmm. know, so that yeah. I don't get injured. Um, and I think that's, that's what shocked Brandon was. So he's a, he is in a band. He does vocals and plays okay. guitar. So cool. I think, I think that just kind of, that whole thing blew his mind away. Just being able to like, is, are you in a metal band? So I do. I, I mean, the nature of our music does have a lot of like screaming and things like that, you know? Like, so it, and so kind of like a, a, um, a Devin Townsend kind of thing where, where it goes between where you've got that. Do you know Devin Townsend? Got, I don't, but um, it's, it's got melody. So you've got to be able to sing and you've also sure. got to be able to hit like, you know, scream deeper screams and things like That's, that. So it's uh, Devin Townsend. You should look him up. Actually. He's, okay. he's wonderful. He's got this brilliant high operatic voice but he can also go hard on his throat and you know that's years yeah. of technique sure so that you're able to function later yeah and you're not spitting blood that's no great. for sure yeah yeah it's something that's definitely I mean, that's that's what uh, that's what amazes me for something like that that because i've i've made the mistake like just playing around with my daughter like doing like balboso voices from pirates of the caribbean just like and eventually it'll just, my throat would just start ripping. Like right. you can tell right. that there's something, there's something I'm doing wrong. Uh, Absolutely. so you can actually it, permanently change your voice if you rip it mm -hmm. bad enough. And wow. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. Yep. That's crazy. You know? <laughs> I had no idea. Um, yeah, in, addition, in addition to being able, you know, having to be able to like function in daily life and talk to my child and that sort of thing, you know, right. I do need to, I do need to work other jobs. <laughs> so, right. You yeah. know, I, I want to be able to, so you just, you just kind of learn, like get maybe right up to the limit of where it'll hurt, you know, but there's also, I mean, I rely on the proximity of the microphone a great deal. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the dark side voice conversationally, you know, in a crowded room or whatever, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me very well. <laughs> get up onto the microphone. It'd be yeah. Something else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's a, yeah. it's, that's great. That's something that I learned quickly too. It's like, I can emote, make it look like I'm screaming louder than I am as far as in, in live shows, but I can get right up on the mic and it'll, I can just, you know, I can act it out. Like it's, you know, it's bigger than it is, Absolutely. but uh, yeah. Zach actually had me record as far as the whole process thing. I mean, I was working until very recently, Zach reached out to me a few months ago and was like, we need, uh, if you can, you know, iPhone your face while you record these lines for me, would you do it? And I did it here on this very microphone right here. Wow. Um, that's crazy. All of huh. existence shall be mine. And you know, a few others. Yeah. That's Amazing. awesome. What, yeah. what is, so after seeing the movie, what, what was your favorite dark side line from the movie? Whoa, what was my favorite dark side line? Um, I, I loved them all. <laughs> I, really yeah. did. I did. That's Tom tough. Stereo is a really damn good writer. You know. Yes, he is. And I mean, yes, I, that was is. the thing you had asked me earlier. What were my favorite moments? You know, out of out of the Justice League, and mm -hmm. it's a long list. And I, I don't include myself on the list. I mean, I'm obviously thrilled to be a part of it and everything. But there's so many great moments in that film that, mm -hmm. just as a moviegoer, as someone who admires the story and everything. I just yep. adored and it changes. It continues and changes. Like, no, now that's my favorite. No, I yep. love that. You know, I will uh, say I, so being a huge Superman fan, I was obviously looking forward to flight 2.0 more than anything else going oh, into yeah. it. And I kind of like what you're saying <clears throat> of the characters that were going to be in the film. I was least expecting to gravitate towards the flash. Not that I don't like the flash. I love the flash. Sure. But that shot, that scene at the end of the movie with the flash, that, that is my favorite mo shockingly, my favorite moment in Zack Snyder's justice. League. I mean, come on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I get why I think a few months ago, Zach put up a photo, just a screen grab of that 
Mm -hmm. um, that sequence. And he was like, wonder what's happening here. And like now in retrospect, I'm like, I totally understand why he picked that. Cause he was Everything probably editing and he was like, this there. is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's been a surprise and I love because yeah. I've certainly felt it on my first viewing, mm -hmm. but I'm loving all of the memes and the comments that are coming up now. Yeah. Poor Steppenwolf. Yeah, Poor Steppenwolf. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's terrible. It's like yeah. in the world, he's this horrible, amazon killing nightmarish thing he gets back to the office and gets on a zoom call and is yep. just getting go, guys. dragged by the home <laughs> office yeah yeah it's so good yeah. and you know speaking of how'd you like to have desaad working hr oh, at your gee, job? right <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, like the like whistling his teeth as he talks oh, yeah. like oh <laughs> I also yeah. love, somebody yeah. tweeted. I don't remember who it was, but I laughed out loud. Somebody tweeted, like, you know, I found the anti-life equation. Dark side picked up the phone quick. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. They yeah, that's what's so great about this movie is like most of these as far as superhero movies, mm -hmm. the the villains are typically one note. You don't care much about them, but that's what's so great about this movie in particular is like they really gave a lot of uh backstory a lot of yeah. um just reasons for you to care other than oh this guy's a bad guy we want him to you know lose also, i mean kieran hines's performance in that i mean how do you it's make, amazing how do you make yeah. that character relatable and mm -hmm. lovable and yeah. you pity him and you feel things for him and all of that that's down to it's kieran. so crazy literally that moment that he when he armor except for this and yep. it's so look on his face when it's like you owe him 50,000 more worlds. Yep. Right. <laughs> oh, God. So much. There's yeah. so much insecurity in that performance when he's like having yeah. that conversation. It's guys. Great. I love it so much. My wife, my wife tapped me on the shoulder after that, that, uh, that line. She was like, she was like, is it bad that I'm like really feeling bad for this guy right now? That's exactly <laughs> what I experienced. Yeah. I was yep. like, <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's cool. You know, I'm sorry yeah. for the way he's treated. It's awesome to see. But by that Jared. same token, you know, he did get to come back home <laughs> in pieces, but I didn't get to yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, <God>. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Crush. That was real. Yep. Cool. Oh, <laughs> man. It was so cool. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the crunch when, <laughs> when the foot comes down, <laughs> it's like Jesus. you know, this whole this movie where this, I hope everybody has seen it by the time they see this. Uh, we'll make sure that people know that. It's, okay. Well, yeah, everything will be good. As hell. Yep. Um, that, that is one of the, the main things I, the boom tube sequence at the end where uh -huh. like, I had a question. So how, when you shot that sequence, yeah. were you, did they just have you like looking at? Yeah, I wasn't in, I would, I, I certainly wasn't staring down the league. Yeah. <laughs> so you were just, was yeah. it, did they just put an object that you're Basically, like, they gave me a focal point to look at and that's okay. what I did. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 I know that the league themselves had a big like ring light um, that was yes. like oh, projecting right. the yeah. light. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure how the other end was. Yep. I guess if they're animating you after the post, then it doesn't really matter if you're lit you know, or not. I mean, obviously, um, you know, I mean, c c can we just take a second and discuss the VFX in this movie? That team, holy God. Stop. Yeah. Whoever yeah. those people are deserve medals and trophies and, and I know. warm milk and yummy things. I cannot work. get over that's something that, Wolf's armor that, in this movie. Oh. Like yeah. is there's like almost like an oiliness to it. Like he's yeah. got that like rainbow like it's alive kind of. or something. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. It's really trippy. Well, that's something that I think Debbie was on uh De Pena's vodka stream uh mm -hmm. Friday <clears throat> and she was talking about how how the VFX team and artists were just gave so much extra because of the situation and that they were just like not, just not even just the fact that they knocked it out in the short amount of time that they did, but how much time and attention and detail yes. and just, you know, they wanted this, they wanted to give their best that they could, you know, for this project, which well, is amazing. They sure did. They yeah. Sure yeah. Did. I mean, the character models for, for dark side, for Steppenwolf, yep. Uxus, um, <laughs> yeah. the fidelity there. And they'd really lean into it and show you like, look what we did here. Like the, mm -hmm. it looks amazing. The it looks close so up shots on dark side's face, yeah. the cracks and the, yeah. Oh yeah. And then you the side by side of everything. Some of the original comic books. Yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah, 
It is nuts. I was I was creating a graphic for our, what we'll we'll put out, and I, yeah. I did a cross uh, like oh, nice. thing of, and I was like, this this matches me, up better me than I expected. Moisturizer, it. me without yeah. moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vaseline. I did. Yeah. So, did they do any sort of? Because I mean, I don't know if this is intent, but like it it lined up better than I expected as far as. Well, it was uh, that's with your face. face. I mean, that's, you know, that was yeah. part of the reason for that whole shooting the thing with the two cameras. It was mm, right. just my face and just Kieran's yeah, face. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah. Okay. That's, so that's cool. awesome. Yeah. yeah I Brandon, that right. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was he like, texted me. He was like, he was like, is it weird how like well this lines up? Like, <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't no, yeah. it's just normal. Don't pay any attention to that. It's fine. Do we need to worry about our world being taken no, over? It's all fine. <laughs> <Right. Right. No laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah. Just over here um, narrating audiobooks. <laughs> just playing it cool. Yeah. Um also just a guy wanting his great prize. Yeah. That's right. For my great prize. <laughs> Um, the cameo that you had in the history lesson, yeah, which is before <laughs> I was actually cast as Dark Side. Oh, uh, that's awesome! Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, I was just so there. How that about then? How what, what was I the... was in England, you know, for filming. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and I mean, look at me, you know. And they wanted some dudes <laughs> sort of retro, so I went and put some armor on and did that scene. Um. And I remember that day that was really fun. We were shooting and um, my boy was there and he went to mm-hmm. go play with Gal's daughter uh, in Gal's trailer. And so Gal was basically babysitting. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Zach, uh, after I finished, Zach was like, hey, come here, come here, come here. And I walked with him across this massive soundstage at Leavesden in, in Leavesden Warner Brothers in England. Mm-hmm. And we go into this thing and it was inside that, that temple where she goes with the torch and yeah. they had mm-hmm. just finished building it. It was like, Oh my God. Cause you know, I can't imagine. Temple. Yeah. It was brilliant. Um, so that was cool. Uh, and that's another funny thing about being in a movie and then watching it because you remember all of the stuff you were doing and all of the stuff around it. Mm-hmm. Um, so Yeah. It was very, very funny. Yeah, and a lot that of was really cool. Yeah, it. like, well done. Yeah, we yeah, didn't catch man. it the first time. Our second viewing is when I was like, "Hey, I think that's Ray." <laughs> yeah. I didn't know uh, anything about it either until I was on a cast with with Zach, and he said, "Yeah, I was just looking at you today, actually, uh, editing." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, they're using that shot. Oh my god. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, nice. That's so cool. Hey, you have to have had. So what many. is your son, Ray? He's now 13." 13. Nice. Yeah. My daughter watched this with us on our third viewing and I asked her, I was like, I'm going to talk to the guy that plays dark side in a little bit. And I was like, you want me to tell him anything? And she was like, you tell him that the heroes can still win. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll tell him. She's <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> so take that, you? Ray, take that. <laughs> How old is your yeah, daughter? She's, she's six. So six. Yeah, the fun age. She's. You <laughs> tell her I said she's absolutely right. I'll pass the message along. She's gonna yeah. love it. Yeah, she was. She was loving this movie. She loves this. This like because of me. I mean, it's kind of you know it just passed right on sure. to her. So it's uh it's so fun to watch. I was a little like I watched it a few times with Ryan before we watched it. Where I was like, all right, I need to make sure there's nothing in here that you know I'm gonna be because right. it is rated right. R. So, uh, but um. She, yeah, she, she loves sat it through the whole thing, like a whole four hours. Yeah. Like that's so great. Yeah, we have no breaks. We have one bathroom break maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like that's, yeah. that was it. Like that's some, a friend of mine pointed it out recently. I don't know that it's necessarily, you know, so it'd be nice if it were, but, um, they were like, you have to understand that for a lot of kids, you are their dark side. Like Michael Ironsides was my dark side. Mm-hmm. Up. And I was like, Oh yeah, of course. That's that crazy to think about. First reference, you know, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. And definitely, I feel the, you know, I feel the sort of the weight of being the first live action Dark Side, but also yeah. being fully aware of the brilliant actors that have played Dark Side before. Yeah, I was, I was kind of mm-hmm. telling uh, you earlier that just growing up, huge Superman fan, 
watching sure. Justice League Unlimited with Ironside and right. Um, but then you've even got now Brower, you've got Jonathan Adams, you've Tony got Todd, like, Tony Todd. Like I mean, Todd, you have you know yeah yeah. There, I mean, it's just one of those characters that I never. <clears throat> I don't know. I just never could picture in live action and watch this movie. And man, you ooze it. It's awesome. Cool. I'm glad. I'm it's glad. so cool. I hear that. Literally ooze it the, in the history lesson when he gets the ax in the arm. Right. I want that, I want that as, <laughs> so a, I want that as a, yeah, it's true. But I was, I, I really want like a FaceTime app or a zoom attachment where I'm dripping lava as I talk. Right. About <laughs> yeah. Who does it? Molten steel. Yeah. Yeah. That was a cool effect. One of the things about this movie too, is there's so many being a huge comic book movie, comic book geek. Like there's so many things you see in this movie that I would have never pictured being like actually being able to see in live action, like the shot in the history lesson where he chops the lantern's hand off and the ring comes towards him. And you got dark side grabbing for a lantern ring and a live action movie and i'm like it's like my head's exploding (laughs) well you know this was this was very much a love note to fans to people who yeah obvious quite obvious i'm not saying that i'm not saying that ex cathedra that's not like someone told me to say that i look at the movie and i look at what fans are responding to and Mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of stuff that they see in the movie that i don't see yeah because like like your history ryan with with Mm -hmm. you know where it has resonance for you. And that's, that's for you, you know? Sure. Yep. That's for all the people who go, Oh my God, that moment. I remember when, you know, right. <laughs> it's a celebration. It absolutely know? is. And that's, that yeah. that's the thing that like, we're really trying to like set, and I've watched this thing seven times now, so you can tell I'm trying to enjoy it, but <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, my, my, my friend sent me a text the other day or yesterday. I was like, you know how many, what that equates to in days. <laughs> I was just about to ask <laughs> yeah. like, what, a day and a half, two days, something like right, that. Yep. Something around there. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> um, but I don't know. It's, it's just like, it's so cool. This is something when we watched it the first time we finished it and we did like an initial reaction video and Mm -hmm. we looked at each other and we were kind of like, we almost like didn't even know what to talk about because the whole time we watched it the first time we were just in awe that we were actually seeing this happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like this footage shouldn't exist. (laughs) Yeah. It's so, yeah. It was so surreal. Such an amazing experience. We we were East coasters. So yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So we, we were, you? we were, we started at 3 a.m. And, and we, I mean, as soon as we started, though, we're we in the were Atlanta wide area. awake. Yeah. I was, I mean, it started for me earlier than that, obviously, but by the end of it, I was just obliterated because it was so late. <laughs> and I loved it and was like, yeah. oh man, I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that again, but I can't do it right now. So many hardcore people just like immediately went, uh huh, again, click. Yeah. <laughs> you know yep but i, I mean that was us that. we <laughs> yep yeah we watched it we watched it at 3 a.m did our little thing took a three-hour nap came back started watching it again and Good then God. just rinse repeat for the next four days i've <laughs> seen it five times ryan seen it six, uh seven i, I guess more people over let show it to them a couple this, more is, this over. to me is the mark of something really great i mean i can remember several books i've read uh you know where i was sad when it was over mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you want more um, yep. Yeah, and uh, That's and it. this has definitely left people wanting more, and I'm very happy. Yes, it has. That. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good segue. Before we let you go, what is your outlook on this moving forward? Uh, like, I don't know my outlook. I mean, <laughs> what was my outlook a year ago on this? Right, that is true. You know? Yep. What was my outlook three years ago on this? Mm-hmm. I was wrong. Yeah. You know, I never mm-hmm. thought it would be seen. I just this doesn't yeah. happen. This is unprecedented. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I know th- there are some things I know to be true. Mm-hmm. This film leaves people wanting more of this story and more of these yep. right, characters and more of this vision. Yep. That I know to be true. The other thing I know to be true is that this fandom, when they want something, are Very able loud. to achieve things. <laughs> yes. Are able to <laughs> yeah. achieve things. Uh, I love, I've had several people ask me online and in interviews, 
well, would you be willing to come back to play dark side? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> really I'll think about it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so I don't know. It would be wonderful. Yeah. Um, but I also know yes, that it would this as it is right here, what mm -hmm. we have now is also wonderful. Yes, it is. So yep. I don't know what the yep. future holds. I wish it did. There's, there's so much, there's so much potential after this thing. I hope that it's true. We were decision makers and um, yeah. positions of power. See that. And it's, been, it's I just, think, I think people are seeing it, you know, they're seeing yeah. the positive reviews. Yeah. They're seeing the positive reaction. They're seeing numbers. I'm, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not, that's fascinating not really my wheelhouse, but the numbers yeah. on mm -hmm. this are pretty. Yeah. Astonishing. I know that there were some servers <clears throat> crashed and that kind of thing. So that's always yeah. a good sign. <laughs> exactly. It's been, yeah. it's been such it's, a great it, thing to see just the groundswell of it all. Like I've had so many people reach out to me like, you know, Hey, have you seen it? Or, uh, you know, like, or they've seen it and talking to me about it and just like, just, just gushing over how great it was and people and that don't even typically pay attention yeah. to this. Yeah. Right. Civilians. Um, <laughs> for lack yeah, of a better yeah. term, yeah. normal civilian. people, you yeah. know, yeah. regular people who don't do yeah, this right. sort of thing, who don't understand what a pump Funko is, right? Um, right. <laughs> these yeah. people are, you know, yeah, I've had a lot of people saying like, "I loved it. It was great," you know. So it it's great in that it transcends. I mean, I love that it's so much for the fans, and they're right. they're so happy about it. But obviously, you want to have something that's nutritious for everyone. Yep, and yep. it seems like this really is. So it that's definitely. Great. Yeah, it's it, it's nice to see there there there's not it doesn't seem to be that division between critics and between fans and between no. you know even even Marvel and DC like seen a lot of Marvel fans who are very hardliners one way or the other and the thing is Zach I, nailed it. Marvel does this thing really really well. Why the hell would you try to imitate what they right. do mm -hmm. beautifully right. on an expert level? Why would you try to do like no, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Mm -hmm. And in allowing Zach to do his thing with this, he nails the nature of DC yeah. characters just yeah, at absolutely. a very fundamental level. <clears throat> I think so too. I think what little I know of DC characters, I will defer sure, to your sure. expertise on that. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, but the tone of DC comics as opposed to Marvel, right, um, has always been a little bit different. I mean, that's what's great mm -hmm. is that you. You mm -hmm. live in a world where you have both, you have Marvel, you have DC, you know, and right. um, they shouldn't try to be each other. Right. You know? Hey, I'm, I'm excited. I'm stoked to watch Falcon and the winter soldier on Disney sure. plus here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I it's sometimes you just got to kind of sit back and be sit in awe of the amazing comic book content that we're getting in live action these days. Like, you know, I'm old enough to remember when it was like there were people who were into comic books and they would go to places and <laughs> sit through people, you know, guys would show up with tables with bins and they would sit yeah. through and, you know, there weren't comic book movies really. Right. Um, you know, maybe you'd get the guy who played Robin on the original, you know, Batman or whatever. Sure. Um, but it wasn't like that. And the whole right. concept of like cons, you know, with, with uh, Star Trek fans, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. and you know, to those dark ages of, of fandom yeah. as to yeah. what it is now, you know, yep. yeah. Uh, my only hope going forward is that people kind of shy away from orthodoxy within the fandom. Yeah. Well, if mm -hmm. you like DC, why would you like Marvel? Because I, I like right. Marvel too. They're great. Yeah. You Come know, together. You yep. like Star Trek. Why would you, I'm more of a star Wars guy. Okay. I like it all. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> just and people like, like, like no reason. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, it's, yeah. I mean, again, there's there's so much out there. It's it is cool. I will say that in the last few years, especially with um, on the the comic book movie side, like we're finally being able to see more uh, like darker stories told, being accepted. Logan, the Joker, that kind of thing. Um, sure. Just more like varied tone, tonally varied, I guess, comic book movies. So uh, you can also add that to the mix. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think one of the cool things about the fandom is as far as this fandom in particular, as far as why peeps, so many people are so, um, just passionate about this particular faction of DC, especially with Zach is that he has such a distinct 
way of filmmaking, uh, yes, a yes. certain style, a certain way that he looks at these characters that yeah. is just, it's, it, I mean, it, mm-hmm. to me, and I know a lot of people feel this way, it just, it's on its own level when it, in comparison I to agree. anything across the pond or whatnot. It's just like, it's just, there's something about yeah. the love and attention he puts in these films that just is unparalleled. I'm a massive fan of Zack Snyder. I mean, yeah. and, uh, mm-hmm. I'm a massive fan of Zack Snyder. Yeah. Not because he gave me a wonderful job either. Right. I've mm-hmm. always been a big fan of his, but yeah. and especially now seeing this film, that cements it. Yeah. Um, I love being in this movie. I love being a part of this movie. I love representing dark side live action for people. Um, I'm very mm-hmm. proud of that. But if I wasn't in the film, this would be a great damn film. I'd be the first <laughs> yeah. one to say, oh my God, this is incredible. Ray right, right. arc as cyborg. Good God. Yep. Oh, geez. Yeah. The heroic <laughs> uh, nature of Superman, the, the yep. you know, all of the heroes in it, Wonder Woman. And, you know, it's, ah, it's you can so tell, cool. you just can tell how much he cares about these characters, mm-hmm. Zach. Absolutely. And it's, it, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's just an unmistakable Zack Snyder signature on his movies. Totally. And, mm-hmm. Totally. That's, I will be a little disappointed <laughs> if I ever visit Iceland, if I leave my sweater on the ground, if somebody doesn't <laughs> pick it up and sing and smell it. I'll be very sad. I know <laughs> we were just singing that song before you came on. <laughs> like, yeah. It's such, I don't know what the lyrics are, but it's, uh, it's such a, it's such a cool moment in that film. And I it love is, that yeah. they take the time to do it. Something that they would have never been able to do theatrically. It just, you know, well, it's like there was room this, to do it, you know, yeah, in this exactly. Film, he was given the room to tell the story. And I yeah. say, you cut that out of the film. It's going to be missed, you know? Yep. Yep. Agreed. Um, Somebody asked, somebody put a picture of, you know, her like smelling it. And they were like, what the hell is this? I was like, she really likes that brand of softener. Okay. <laughs> <You're right>. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's yeah. awesome. So many cool right. little, that's what I love about why him being able to put this out on HBO max full four hours, like moments like that moments, like Alfred and Wonder Woman making the tea, like all these small little things that are just like, yeah, I could, you could, I could see them cutting it, but it's just so, it's such a good character moment that it's right. just, it's so great I, to have it in there and let it breathe. Exactly. And I submit that with heroes like that, if you don't have the Iris West sequence, if you don't have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the love that the Icelandic people have clearly for Arthur Curry, if you don't mm-hmm. have those little moments, the making tea, the things like that, then when they are busting ass, being badass superheroes, you're not as invested. Yeah. It's it's a it's a way to get there, you know. They do so the, much with building sympathy and building yes, and connection and to the building, characters. Yeah, you're like, that's yeah, absolutely. I think Zach is a master at it. And yep. uh, you know, this is I just I'm glad everybody is pleased and I hope the happiness continues with it. I think this has been yep. a marvelous and incredible journey. It's been a fantastic weekend, that is for sure. <laughs> sure as hell. <laughs> yeah. What a weekend. We're so happy for you, man. I mean, I can't imagine you. where your headspace yep. is right now, but you you killed it, and we, we just we loved every bit of it. it. And thank you so much it. for taking the time to do this. My and pleasure. We know you're <laughs> crazy busy, thank too. <laughs> uh, and everybody, <laughs> everybody here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody follow Ray Porter on Twitter. Yeah. That's at Ray underscore underscore Porter. Um, and also follow us at Cape Cash Show. We love talking about all, all things geek and obviously all things Zack Snyder. Um, so cool. gentlemen, Ray, hopefully we can have you back at some point. Gents, it was I a privilege. It. Thank you. Thank you so yep. much, man. I right. appreciate it. You take care. Take care, brother. Thanks very much. Once again, we want to thank Ray for coming on the show. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Ray underscore underscore Porter. You can find us at Cape Cast Show on Twitter as well. And just be sure to what? What is it, Ryan? Uh, how about we let the Lord of Apocalypse handle this? <laughs> okay, sure, fine. Smash that subscribe button to dust, and all of Cape Cast shall be mine. <laughs>